in front of us is the male reproductive system. And we will be talking about individual structures making up the system uh, slowly and gradually. First, I have to give you an overview so that you will get oriented. So um, the first part of the, female, of the male reproductive system is the gonad itself, which is testes. And it's present, you can see over here that it is present outside the body cavity within a sac, a skin sac. That is the, the skin of the perineal region. So it's the scrotal sac in which uh, on each side the testis is residing. Okay. Um, from the testis, you can see over here there is a structure like hovering over the testis is the epididymis. It's the extension, or like it's, it's, the, it's the extension of the ducts. Like all the ducts, like a spaghetti, they are clumped together. And they are forming uh, like this uh, rounded or a crescentic structure, which is known as, known as epididymis, and it's present at the top and the posterior pole of the testes. Okay? So once the sperms are, are formed, they are produced in the testes, they have been stored in the epididymis and they get mature. And then after that, the epididymis has like, has a head end, uh, a, a body and a tail region. So the tail of the, uh, of the epididymis continues as the ductus deferens or the vas deferens. So you can see my probe is pointing towards the vas deferens. So here's the ductus deferens or the vas deferens from the testes produced the sperms, got stored in the epididymis, and then have been transported towards the uh, urethra because they would be released as semen in the urethra. So they are transported via this tube. It's a narrow muscular tube, ductus deferens or vas deferens. And then vas just keeps on moving towards the inguinal region and then through the inguinal canal, it enters and then goes behind the bladder, urinary bladder. And here you can see this region of the ductus deferens or the vas deferens is dilated. This is the ampulla or the ampullary region, a dilated region of the ductus deferens. Then it has been joined by uh, like a glandular structure that is like a leaf. And this structure is also located at the back of the bladder, at the posterior aspect of the bladder. This is the anterior aspect because we can see this is the pubic bone and that that is the posterior aspect of the bladder. So this glandular structure, it's a paired structure present on either side. It's the seminal vesicle, okay? So the ductus deferens has been joined by the the, uh, the duct of the seminal vesicle. And then what happens is, you can see over here, they form an ejaculatory duct. So there are two right and left ejaculatory ducts, and they will be piercing, traversing through the substance of another gland, which is located at the base of the bladder. This is the bladder cavity, and this is the base of the bladder. So this gland, which is known as prostate gland, it's present only in males. So the, the ejaculatory ducts, they will, on either side, they will pierce through the substance of prostate gland and they will open up eventually in this region, which is the prostatic part of urethra. Okay? So that's how the journey of the sperm gets completed, starting from the testes, got stored in the epididymis, get matured, and then has been transported through a duct, which is known as the vas deferens or the ductus deferens. And then once the ductus deferens reaches the pelvic cavity, it goes behind the urinary bladder where it finds the seminal vesicles on either side. So the seminal vesicle duct will join the ductus deferens and they will form together, they will form the ejaculatory duct. They will pierce through the substance of the solid gland that is prostate, and then will open up in the male urethra. And the, uh, the product of testes is a sperm, a spermatozoa, and then the, they are 
blended with the fluid, which is seminal fluid and prostatic fluid, and then they they get uh, into the male urethra as semen.